What's up, family? Welcome back to another legendary reaction video. So this is my first time ever reacting to Phil Collins. I never know. I never knew who made this song in the air tonight. But now I know today. Um, so basically, before we get into the lyricism, as I like to explain a valuable message and see how we can use utilize that value to apply it to our lives to continue to be great individuals, I do like to get into the background theme meaning of the song before we actually absorb and embrace this greatness, right? So Phil Collins in the air tonight is a song that has captivated audiences since its release in, eight, in 1981. The track is known for its haunting atmosphere, iconic drum break, and intense emotion conveyed through the lyrics. The song's meaning has been the subject of much speculation, with listeners often trying to decode the narrative woven by Collins' evocative words. The lyrics of In the Air Tonight seem to tell a story of betrayal and confrontation. The opening line set a tone of anticipation for a long-awaited event, with the repeated phrase, quote-unquote, O oh Lord, suggesting a, a moment of reckoning or revelation. The song then shifts to a more accusatory tone with the narrator addressing someone who has wronged them. The lines, well, if you told me you were drowning, I would not lend a hand, imply a deep sense of hurt and refusal to help the person who caused it. The narrator claims to have witnessed something significant. I saw what you did, quote unquote, and asserts the other person's deceit is clear to them. The song's emotional weight is amplified by the music itself with a slow buildup leading to the powerful drum sequence that has become synonymous with the track. The repetition of the chorus reinforces a sense of something impending and inevitable. While Collins has stated that the song is not based on a specific real-life event, his lyrics have often been interpreted as reflecting personal pain and the complexities of human relationships. So with no further ado, fam, let's just create into the video. Look at my man eyes, bro. He locked into the song like mm -hmm. my man ain't even blink yet. All my life, oh Lord, can you feel it coming in the air tonight? Oh Lord, oh Lord, You could wipe off that grin. Stop the cap. So basically, this is a story basically, and this is my commentary on it. Supposedly, Colin, Collins was a witness, and correct me if I'm wrong, family, to the drowning of his friend. Although Phil wasn't close enough, there was a man in position to help his drowning friend, but he didn't attempt to rescue him. The drowning belief was referenced by Eminem and Stan. Collins has stated in the interview that although he really didn't write it with anything in particular in mind, he was 
dealing with a recent divorce, and he was very angry. Also, the lyrics were completely spontaneous. And you can tell, you can feel the furious, like the intenseness of like, look, I, you can wipe that grin off because I saw it with my own two eyes. So obviously it was something very heartfelt for my man to be very furious the way he is, especially like his eyes, the way he expressing the lyricism, let alone singing them and vocalizing them. You can tell just by a person tone. You know what I'm saying, family? Like they not coming here to play. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like the value can lie within, you know, I can get, you can get so many messages from this song, but I feel like there's two valuable messages. Um, and I want to know how you guys resonate with this song, comment down below. But the first message I get is basically be careful who you surround yourself with, because a lot of times people are actors and they can act very good. But then in the eyes, they say the eyes are the window of the soul, but they can act so good that they look they look to you. How can I put this? People can act so good to you that it looks so genuine and true, but really they're acting in, in a disingenuous way, followed suit by being so deceitful. So what I'm trying to say is people can play a good game of acting and not be, not be genuinely who they say they are to be and can be coming off very deceitful. And when it's times of monumental action to take place, that deceit will be disposed, or be exposed to who they truly are for what they truly was not. You know what I'm saying, family? And then the second one is, as he said, oh, Lord. You know what I'm saying? Like that monumental moment you was waiting for. It can also be an enlightening moment of you finally getting your moment at something. And when you do, courageously tackle it. You know what I'm saying? So this song, as Collins mentioned, wasn't, it was, he doesn't, he didn't pin or nail down a specific narrative or specific meaning of the song. But in so many different directions, it can be from a human relationship standpoint, like I mentioned before, but then also can be a, from an intro, introspective standpoint. You feel me? that right there he said and i could feel it in the air coming tonight and then he goes into saying look hold up it's the verse two well i remember i remember don't worry how could i ever forget it's the first time the last time we ever met but i know the reason why you kept your silence no you don't fool me well the hurt doesn't show but the pain still grows It's no stranger to you and me so by saying the pain is growing but not showing he could be suggesting a sign of silent suffering there's a lot of men and women out there and just individuals, period, that suffer in silence. You would never know what they've been through because they don't want to put that burden on other individuals. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't want to express his emotions on the situation or explain how he wants to solve the problem. He remembers not to worry. However, he's dwelling on a bad relationship and it's hurting inside. And I feel like we all could have resonated with that or been there. You know what I'm saying? Where we experience something so hurtful that it's like, we're flabbergasted by it, but then at the end of the day, it's like 
we can't fathom the simple fact that and shocked we still is every time we dwell on it, how did like it this really happened? You know what I'm saying? I like it. I can feel it coming in the air. That was legendary. Legendary performance, man. Monumental performance. Song will live for forever. Generations after generation, man. Hope you guys enjoy my breakdown. Hope I pour some type of value into your life. Let the love supersede the hate. Spread that peace, love, and positivity. Until next time, family. Peace.